At Lowe's, we believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. It looks so good. Give us one weekend, we'll give you five projects. Whoa. And you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. Stop it Rem right now. <laughs> this is The Weekender. This weekend, I'm helping out a family with a multi-purpose space. It's a home office slash guest room, but it's really not functioning well for either purpose. So this weekend, we're gonna fix that. All right, so home office and guest room all in one, right? Yes. All right. This is primarily my office. I work from here three to four days a week, but Lewis is from England mm -hmm. and his parents will come for extended periods of time, like, two to six weeks. Two to six weeks. And they use this as a guest bedroom while I am working. Hi, I'm Chrissy. And I'm Lewis. And we are so excited to tackle our guest bedroom slash home office space. We just don't know what to do with this space right now. And um, we're really excited to get something done. Now talk to me about the futon that we have. Is this where they're sleeping? How do they feel about this? We tried different things. You know, we had a bed in here and it was just so cramped. And then yeah. um, we put the futon in, which works, but it's not really comfortable for them. I feel like futon works for like old college friends, maybe not for your parents. No. Now talk to me about the work side of this. I work in TV programming, so I have to have a TV okay. in the room. The TV and then the devices, I'm like on those throughout the day. Got it. Style-wise, what are you guys hoping for? I love color. I really Good. like colorful. I think this does too. I, I think <laughs> you're getting those vibes. Yeah. Getting vibes. That's how I get away with these shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, so we definitely love color. I like more like flowers. Fun. I love wallpaper. I love that. And so I was thinking about who's using this space. And so I kind of came up with a little bit of a British inspired, like floral, whimsy. If we bring in all those feelings and kind of combine it together, there's a way that we can come up with kind of our own style. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah, I'm very excited. We have a bunch of awesome projects planned for the weekend. And the first thing we'll do is we're gonna empty out this room. And then we're also going to pull the carpet out. Oh, cool. Taking out the carpet is going to make a huge impact in this space. Basically, this room needs a major style upgrade, and we're going to yes. go all the way from the floor to the ceiling. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to do this is just cut it into manageable size strips. Also, your garbage people will appreciate that too, because we can tape them up and just put them right on the curb. So now, what we need to do is take up this tack strip, and then what we'll do is we'll use the pliers to get all of the staples out. Okay, here's our to-do list for the weekend. Up first, new flooring. Second, a unique project to hide their TV. Third, a fun paint treatment for the walls. Fourth, a Murphy bed for all the functionality in a dual use space. And fifth, a new ceiling fan. Now we're gonna install our new flooring. Here it is, your grand reveal. I really like the color, I like it looks real, it looks like real wood. There were so many options for flooring at Lowe's, but I was super drawn to this Stain Master Pet Protect. Basically, I love the look of it, obviously. Like, it looks like real wood. It even has texture to it. More than the look, I was really drawn to all the characteristics that it has. I know that you guys have two small dogs, and this is gonna be super durable. They actually literally call it Claw Shield. Yeah, I'm excited. This has underlayment attached to each piece, and it helps to dampen the sound. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I felt like it was the perfect flooring for you guys, and it's gonna be super easy to install. It's basically a click and lock. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna click one piece into the next. I brought up a chop saw to make our cuts. We should be able to fly through this installation. When you go on Lowe's.com, you can find the what flooring should I choose section where it breaks down different types of flooring and lists the features of each to help you make your decision. So if you should use laminate or hardwood or vinyl plank flooring, Lowe's.com makes it so easy for you to compare your options and make the best choice for your space. This is a floating floor. So when installing this type of flooring, you need to leave a gap around the edges to allow for expanding and contracting. The gap should usually be between a quarter and a half inch. So the baseboard here is lifted. They didn't put it right on the subfloor, so we have plenty of room. When I was at Lowe's, I grabbed a flooring installation kit that came with the mallet, 
and the tapping block. The one thing to remember is that we are using red for ours, because this is for vinyl. The yellow is for like hardwood floors, it could be for laminate, but this one is for vinyl. Now you can kind of see, we have like five courses done. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I love it. This is gonna be perfect. It makes a massive difference. It's gonna function so much better. I'm very excited to show Chrissy. Good. <laughs> I'm super excited to work with you on this next project because it is camouflaging your workspace when it's not in use. I know that your really big TV has to stay. It's not a small yeah, TV. No, it's not, no. So I came up with an idea to basically build a box around your TV and then put a gallery wall over it, but on hinged doors. So cool. So Lowe's had these super cute frames that I found online, and I really liked the blue color. I yeah. felt like it went, and I liked the age like feel to it too. So what we'll do is we'll attach these onto plywood and almost like, um, you know, like a bifold closet door yeah. where it has hinges. Basically, we're gonna hinge it open so that we can open it and close it. Sounds great. Sound good? Yeah. First thing we need to do is build our box, and we're gonna build that out of one by wood. The box we're gonna make is gonna be not too much bigger than the actual TV, but give it a little bit of breathing room. All right, we have our box, and so we're gonna cut three panels. All right, we have our panels for our doors, and now we're gonna get started with our hinges. Okay. Okay. These are the hinges I chose, all right? And basically, I wanted them to be as low profile as possible. You don't even really wanna know that they're there. So these are non-mortise hinges, which means I don't need to like carve out an area for it. We can just install it flush right on here. And we will pre-drill so that we don't crack the wood. Okay, and now, we have hinges. Yay. Okay, now we're gonna attach our doors. Okay. Okay. And then we hinge shut. All right. Frame TVs and TVs that can display art have become more and more popular, and I do love those. But since Chrissy has to use the specific TV that her job has provided her with, this is a great DIY frame TV solution. I wanna just lay these out for you because the last step will actually be attaching the frames. I wanna get everything painted first, but this kind of gives you an idea of what it will look like when your TV is closed. Very cool. You like it? Yeah, I love it. I would have never thought to do this myself. To prepare for this project, Matt got a base coat on all the walls. I chose a Stain Master paint for this in a satin finish. This guest room slash home office gets a ton of use, so I wanted something that was gonna be really, really durable and very easy to clean. Oh, wow. What do you think? I love it. This actually like does not look like the same room already. Right? So I know how much you love pattern and you love florals and you love wallpaper. And I thought instead of just picking something where like it was all predetermined, it would be really fun if we just kind of painted our own pattern on the wall to look like wallpaper. That's so cool. Oh, that going to yeah. make smile. Yeah. You're, you're in? <laughs> I'm in. Okay, good. <laughs> Let me show you some colors. Okay. Ready? Ooh, I love it. Super bright, right? Yeah. Okay, super bright pairs with a little lighter, yeah. okay? So I kind of have these duos that I've planned. Okay. All right, so then we have, okay. I'm so excited. You're feeling I, it? I am, yeah. All right, and, oh baby. Oh, I love that. What do you think? I love it. Happy? I'm very happy. Okay. Instead of using the paints exactly as they are, I kind of want them to have the feeling of watercolor. Now, the recipe is dollop of paint, four ounces of glaze, and then a dash of water. Okay. And that's gonna basically make it so that it changes the consistency of the paint, but not the color. Yeah, that's where I want it. And now what we need to do is figure out our pattern. This is just a piece of extra drywall that I painted in the same bohemian blush as the walls. These are one inch brushes that I got and I was planning to do just little brush strokes, but I was thinking like just a little stroke. See how the glaze now makes it so that almost looks like watercolor? Yeah. Isn't that cool? That is cool. So if we did a dark and a light, a dark and a light. 
I kind of think jumping to another color now might be nice versus yeah. having long rows that almost feel Sweet. too planned. I want this yeah. to feel like accidentally awesome, yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yes. So we have our pattern and what I'm gonna do is just make one level line for us across the middle with a pencil that we'll work off of. Once we have that one straight, then everything will just follow. Okay. I feel like there's a softness to watercolor. There's an imperfection to it. Our spacing is really good. We're definitely, we have some little nubby guys. We have some that are a little bit longer. I think we'll find our groove in it. Yes. But I also don't think we need to overthink it. Like, yeah. this is like an artist trying out brush strokes. I love it. I think like, it makes me smile. I know, yeah. What do you think your in-laws are gonna think? I think they're gonna love it. It actually really reminds me of like the beach huts in England, oh. like where they're from. It looks like they're the colors of like the beach huts in Cornwall. I so they're gonna love it. Love that. Yeah. Okay, well, happy accident. Yeah. I didn't even know that, <laughs> but I love it. You know, I just can't wait to see the whole wall. I know. Let's keep going. Okay. It's the start of day two. We've got another full day of work ahead of us. And the first thing we're working on is perfect for this multifunctional space. Matt and I got started early this morning on our next project that you're going to be helping me with. Okay. All right, any ideas what this is? Uh, Murphy bed? A Murphy bed! <laughs> I was like wondering if maybe you'd think it was some sort of wardrobe, but yes. What I love about a Murphy bed is that it allows us to have a queen size bed when you need it, and when you don't, it just closes right up into the wall. No, I think it's perfect. I we toyed with the idea. I was always afraid about mounting it. I didn't know how to do it properly, so. No, this is fantastic. There are lots of DIY projects where we just make up our own thing and kind of go with it. This is not one of those. We are literally going to be following our instruction booklet and just working our way through. Okay, love it. And there's a lot of like two people required. So that's me Definitely. and you. And we have to do the high five, like the people <laughs> in the district. Yeah. <laughs> we'll look like the happy people in the instructions. This Murphy bed from Lowe's comes in a ready to assemble kit. It's super homeowner friendly. This is really a case of just following the assembly instructions page after page. And I've got to say, they're really clear, easy to follow instructions. Awesome. It's a major upgrade from the futon. Yeah. Little spoiler alert, I also have some plans to fancy it up even more. Okay. All right. But that is gonna happen without you in this room because I need to pull everything together for a big reveal. So, time to get out of here. Okay, so Oh wait, good. we have to be the people on the package. Yeah. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Chrissy and Lewis told me that they really like having a ceiling fan in this room. It's helpful when Chrissy's working and also for guests. This room can get a little warm. So I need to keep a ceiling fan, but this one isn't really doing anything for us style-wise. So I'm gonna swap it out for a new fan that I got from Lowe's. Of course, if you are not comfortable doing this project on your own, feel free to call an electrician. Step one is gonna be turning off the power. So you wanna go down to your breaker and power source and turn the power off there. Don't just shut the light switch off. Once my power is off, my next step is gonna be removing the existing fan. Every fan is gonna be a little bit different, but most of them involve loosening screws and removing each piece as you go. So now we can access our exposed wires. This is why it's very important to have your power turned off and we can even double check. The voltage detector is green, which means that we are good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is pull my wires out. I'm gonna detach all of these. Now we're just left with our wires and our electrical box and we are set to start installing the new fan. I'm gonna install my new fan bracket. Every fan bracket is different. This one's so much smaller. This is the new fan. I chose it because I absolutely love the richness of the wood, of the blades. I love the gold and it still has all the functionality of a light and actually comes with a remote as well. And for this specific fan, because it has a remote, Everything's gonna get attached here, and then this gets tucked up inside, basically is the remote sensor. The wires for the new fan need to be trimmed at the end and exposed, so I just have my wire trimmers here. I'm using 18, and I'm giving myself like three quarters of an inch. 
And now it's just combining color to color and attaching with a wire nut. Now I'm gonna tuck all the wires in and bring the cover for the bracket up and just lock it into place. Now I'm gonna go turn the power on and this will be good to go. There we go. I love how the fan is looking. I'm gonna touch up the ceiling with a bit of paint. You could also use a medallion. Lowe's has so many pretty decorative medallions if you don't have your old ceiling paint color. And now the fan works great. A Murphy bed is awesome, but a Murphy bed with a little bit of wallpaper might just blow Chrissy's mind. I thought that it would be really fun just to add a little bit of peel and stick wallpaper to each of the panels on this so that when it's closed, it really fits with the feel of the room. And this wallpaper is actually where I got the inspiration for all of the colors that we did on our painted walls as well. So this is a multi-purpose space. So we're actually gonna do two reveals. So on the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh my God. That's oh amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a different <laughs> open all the painting. home. It's so cute. And it's very like English tea, like you said. I can't believe this is my house. <laughs> it feels so different. It feels so different. It feels brighter, it feels more colorful, it feels yes. so much more you. Like, yes. just look what you're yeah. wearing, and then like, this room fits you. Oh my goodness. Lou, and that's the TV. That's, that's crazy. I that is amazing. That. It's just a cute little whimsical gallery wall. Yeah. So when it's time for work, hinges in nicely. There we go. And then end of the day, or using it as a guest room. Close this right up. There we go. Amazing. I'm very impressed. So cool. I love how this turned out. Me too. And now you might see where I got the color inspiration. Yeah! I pulled all the colors for this wall out of the wallpaper that I knew was coming in. And then obviously this is awesome, but it also is your Murphy bed. So queen size oh bed. Oh my god! Yeah. When you're in your like video conferencing, you can either use the Murphy bed as your backdrop yes. or the TV frames. Yes. The flooring, how do you guys feel about it? I absolutely, it makes it feel really bright in here. Aside from all of the color in the paint, like that makes a huge difference as well. It was really easy to install. Yeah, definitely, it was, it was super quick. It's and great. it looks like really luxe as well. It looks really good. And the fan too. That's absolutely God. stunning. It's that is stunning, beautiful. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. most ceiling fans don't get described as stunning. It's stunning. My favorite part is how it looks. My second favorite part is that it has a remote. So no strings hanging down. Yes. And your in-laws, like, when they're sleeping, they, they can control the light without getting up. For you, it's just so much more convenient. How do we do as far as a home office goes? Nailed it. Completely. Great. Yeah. But now, the next test is going to be how we did as a guest bedroom. So. Okay. Reveal number two. I'm gonna make up this bed, get this opened. You guys go out, and then we'll do a quick another reveal. Okay. This is my first double reveal ever. Yeah. Ever. Weekend or first, friends. Okay. Love it. It's so simple to transition this room from a home office into a guest room. Just like that, we have a guest room. Okay, on the count of three, let me introduce you to your new guest room. One, two, three. <laughs> That's oh so God. cool. You like? It this came is together huge. really well. When it's shut, it's like not intrusive at all. So it's amazing to me that this is hidden behind there. I it's can't so believe cool. how perfectly it fits. I know. That's crazy. It's a memory foam mattress that I got at Lowe's. Like it's super comfortable. I think your parents are really gonna love it. I'm blown away completely. We cannot thank you enough. This is this is life changing for us, truly. And for his parents as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, so. it's beautiful and it's functional and I, I have no idea how you came up with these ideas, but <laughs> so impressed. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, Lowe's had everything we need, including the Murphy bed that really was like the star of the show, making it yeah. possible to serve two very different purposes, but kind of seamlessly. Yeah. So I'm glad you love it. Thank you, thank you. Two reveals in one Weekender episode? I mean, crazy. <laughs> I would love to know, do you like it better as a guest room or as a home office or both? No wrong answers. 
We'll put all the products that we used in the description below. And before you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss a single thing on the Lowe's YouTube channel. Thanks, friends.